Hello Wingspan families, welcome to Lego class. This week we're going to build a treasure island. As usual, our video is divided into five sections. The first one is treasure chest, the second one buried treasure, third island, fourth palm tree and fifth ocean. It will work best if you watch a section, pause the video and then build what is described in that section then move on to the next section. The one difference this week is I know a lot of you build with your siblings and when you do that usually you work together to make the one project that I've that I've shown like you work together on one castle or work together on one pirate ship. Today if you're working with a sibling you should each build your own treasure chest each build your own buried treasure box, each build your own island, and then at the end of the video, we're going to have a section on how to put those islands together to make a bigger sea. If you're working on your own, that's okay. Build your island as we go through the video, and then at the end, you can decide whether you want to build extra or whether you just want to make a bigger ocean around your island. I'll see you at the end of the video. Happy building. To build a treasure chest, you need to start at the base. We're going to build a treasure chest that is four studs by four studs. So if you have a four by four flat, you should use that. I didn't have a four by four flat, so I'm using two two by fours and I'm pushing them together. You'll need the same shape for the top and the bottom of the chest. I'm going to use these gray ones for the bottom because one of them has holes in and the ocean won't show if I use them at the bottom. Now, you're going to put bricks around the edge and make sure, if you've used two pieces like me, make sure that you use some of your edge bricks to hold those pieces together. So, there are the bricks around the edge. So now you have a little space in the middle where you could hide your treasure. And for the top of the treasure chest, flip your top upside down and take a square two by two plate and stick it in the middle. Now I'm using two two by fours so this plate holds them together but even if you are using a four by four plate you still are going to need to put this square in the middle and I'll show you why in a moment. Right now if we put this lid on it will stick down because of the studs around the edge so we don't want that to happen. So what you need to do is look through your brick box and find flat pieces. You see, I have found several tiles. One of them even has like a wood pattern on it. Um, but I couldn't find all tiles, so I also found a grill. That's fine as well. Anything that is totally flat on top and does not have studs. And now go around on top of your bricks so that you have a totally flat top. And now you can take your lid and put it onto your treasure chest. And you see, if you didn't have this square here, that would mean that the lid would just slide around. But because of the square, that square fits into the square hole. And it means that if you tip the treasure chest sideways, the lid stays on. If you turn it upside down, the lid falls off, which is how we want it. We want the lid to be loose. Now, you could build a bigger treasure chest, of course. This one is four by six. But I would strongly recommend not to build any bigger than that because the next thing we want to do is build an island where we bury our treasure chest. And the larger the treasure chest is, the harder it will be to bury. Oh, final step. Let's put some treasure into our treasure chests. Now, you might have like actual Lego jewels or stuff. I couldn't find any in the bricks I have with me. So I found some shiny pieces and some gold and silver pieces and a little jewel heart that is not lego but would fit nicely into the treasure chest so i'm going to put some gold in each chest and then some gems now you see it's quite limited what you can fit into the chest if we go much more than that than either of these the lids will not fit on actually that fitted quite a lot in there there we go. So in order to bury your treasure chest, you're going to need some type of a base to start building an island on. 
Now the way we're going to build our island is we're going to start by building the box bit of it that the treasure chest goes into and then we're going to add on around the edges. You should think about what colour you want your island to be. I want my island to be mainly yellow, it's going to be a desert island, but it could have green or brown or grey grey rocks, um, you know, like whatever you have enough supplies of. But for the base that we're going to put the treasure chest onto, it does not matter what colour the flats you use are, because you're going to be covering them over. You're going to be building on top of bricks and sticking other things up. So ideally, you would like to have start with a piece. This is a standard large plate. Many of you might have one like this. It's eight studs wide on one end and 16 studs long along the long side. Um, but if you don't have that, try and make that type of a shape using other plates. So I'm going to work with these. And then for your treasure chest, you need to make a space that is actually larger than the treasure chest. If I build up exactly a box that, is, that has a space in the middle, four studs wide and six studs long, then I won't be able to get my treasure chest out again after I've dropped it in. So I want, because my treasure chest is four studs wide and six studs long, I want to leave a space that is five studs wide and seven studs long. And because I don't want my treasure chest to stick down whenever I put it in, I want, I'm going to start by putting down a couple of tiles that are going to be in that space so that my treasure chest won't stick. Okay? So... Now, like I said, I want my item to be yellow. So I'm going to start going around the edge of this space with yellow bricks. Now, one, two, three, four, five. So then I would put a brick over here. Now that's the right width for my hole. And then if I say that my hole starts here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then I want to put bricks at the other end here. And so we're going to start just by building up this box shape. It's going to have to be three bricks high when it's finished. Once you get to this point where you have a box with straight sides on the inside, that is seven studs long and five studs wide. You could put your treasure chest in and you see how my chest doesn't stick down and it has a bit of space around each side so that I can reach in and lift it out. Um, now, if you look at the outside of my box, you'll see that it isn't flat or even. It's uneven in places and that's fine because on the outside, we want it to look like a hill, right? We want it to be a hill in the middle of our island. Now, the top of my box is going to be some big flat pieces. And um, these ones I do want to be island coloured. So you see I have yellows and tans and browns. I think all of those would be fine for covering the top of my island. And yes, I think that's a good shape combination there. Now... If you look at this, so these cover that hole completely. And then if we turn around, you're going to see over here, this one sticks out a little bit over the top of these bricks. And that's actually a good thing because if I stick these down very solidly, it can be hard to get them off again. But because we have buried treasure down there, I want to be able to lift the lid off. So if you can make sure that somewhere the edge sticks out a little bit over your hill, then that will mean you can take your lid off. I'm going to put my treasure back inside now. Let's see, I've got, there we go. So the treasure goes in. And now I'm going to put the lid back on. Oh, wait a second. There we go, lid back on. And also there are bits that stick out beyond the lid and that's fine too. Right now, this looks like a funny shaped yellow box on a red plate. It does not look like an island. So, what are we going to do to make it look like an island? Well, let's get some other plates that are good colours.
for islands. So green, an island can be green. Yellow for sand. And we have blue. Like, so there's going to be water connecting to the island as well. Now, we're going to use bricks to attach these pieces to my original island. So, uh, don't use plates to attach these. Use where you want your the bottom level to be all be plates, and then the next level to all be bricks, and that keeps everything even. If I were to use a plate here to connect these, that's great. It looks fine, but then when I go to build bricks on the next level. Say I decide I want to build my hill out a bit this way. Now, this brick and this brick are uneven and, and I cannot attach a brick across the top of both of them because one is on this plate and the other is on the base plate. So, we're not going to use plates to connect the big base plates. We're going to use bricks. And if you don't have big base plates like I've been using, you can add small plates and just keep using bricks to attach them wherever you want. So, like you can build out as you go along using bricks to connect the pieces. And then once you feel that you've made your shape bigger and it's quite a good shape and you want to add to it and make the whole island look island-like, you have to start filling in all these edge pieces and you know try and use you can use a mixture of straight and slopey bricks um you want your box not to have a straight wall at the side you want it to kind of be uneven and go out in steps because hills are not usually box shaped they don't usually have straight up walls on the sides of them and we want to make this look like a hill in the middle of an island and likewise, where your island meets the water, don't make it just be a straight line. Make it be uneven, because in real life, that's usually how these things work. So, you see, I'm just going to keep going around and around and adding more bits and pieces to make my island look more islandy. So far, I have stuck almost pretty much entirely with yellow bricks so in a minute I'm going to switch over to green for the green side of my island here is my finished island see it has a rocky side and a green side I would like to have a palm tree now, depending what supplies you have, there's different ways to build a palm tree, but um, definitely two by two square brown pieces are really good for making tree trunks. You might have some two by two round brown pieces, and those are great for tree trunks. Um, but whatever you have, and, and if you don't have enough of the squares, it's also fine for particularly the bottom of your tree trunk can be a bit uneven. It can stick out in different directions. You can use different pieces to build it out. Um, let's see. And that would just look like roots sticking out from the bottom of the tree, if you do it right. Yep, yeah, there we go. Um, now, I'm not going to put it on top of where the treasure is buried, because that would make it hard to dig up the treasure. So this is my tree growing on the green side of my island. And then the question is how to make the top. You may have tree leaves, palm leaves and so on that you could put on here. But I'm going to show you a technique for building leaves that look like this using green bricks. Hopefully you didn't use all your green bricks in your island. Take the trunk of your palm tree. And then you're going to need to take four green squares or two two by fours. Um, and you want to stick them on so that they make a four by four square that is centered on the two by two square that is your trunk. Now, particularly if you did that with two by two bricks, they're going to be a bit wiggly. They're going to fall off really easily. 
So this is where you're going to need to take another two by two and stick it in the middle. And that's the top of your palm tree. Now we're going to build out from below. If you look at it upside down, you're going to take a brick, a two by two brick would be good, and stick it right here, like in the middle of the two bricks that you can see there. Now, if you have a two by four brick, those also would work well at this point. So I'm, I'm going to stick a two by four over here. Okay. Um, now, go around. Um, now I've stuck leaves on all four sides. Now let's flip it over and look at it from above. We're going to take another two by two brick and stick it on top everywhere where you see the brick sticking out at the bottom. And on this side, now we're finished. That two by four with the two by two on top, that is the whole leaf. On the other sides, we're gonna to have to go back around again one more time and stick a two by two underneath the one we just stuck on in the middle. And that is how to build a brick built palm tree top. And now we're going to put it on our eye. Remember at the beginning of the video, I said if there were two of you, you should each build an island. So this is me building a second island for my smaller treasure chest. This time I'm using a lot of green because I used up most of my yellow for the first island. Even if you're working on your own, you can always build a second island um, because then you get to make your whole island seem bigger. Now I have two islands and I want to add ocean that connects the two islands together. Now, even if you didn't build a second island, if you just have one island, you can still make your ocean bigger so that you can make more of a scene with it. Now, so I have a few other blue flats and I'm gonna see what way I think they will best connect the two islands that we have. I think that looks quite good. Now, there's different shades of blue here, but I think that's okay because you get that in the ocean, depending how the light catches it and what the waves are doing. Now, of course, right now, these are not stuck together. And you see, I did not take the plates and overlap them because, again, we're going to use bricks to connect everything. So, again, the ocean is not actually flat, right? There are waves that go up and down. So... In this space where you're connecting your two items together, I want you to see what you can do by adding blue bricks here and there to make it as if there are waves between the islands. That is my ocean that connects my two islands together. Now, here is my little Lego person who is a castaway in the ocean, and this is his raft. So, he can sail along in the ocean on his raft and go from one island to the other. Or, if you'd rather make him a boat, you can find brown pieces to make the edges of the boat. I have a slopey up piece that I'm going to stick at the very front of the brown flat I'm using for the boat. And then I'm going to fill in the sides with these long pieces. Fill in the back. And now, there's a nice little boat for my island castaway. So he can sail from one island to the other. Hello again. I hope you enjoyed building your island. Um, one of my favourite things about this project is you can keep on going as long as you have the Lego pieces to do it. You can add more islands or you can join your islands together. You see, what I have done is I took my two islands with the ocean in between and then I added on another green board at the back and built a mountain on it. And that has joined my two islands together. So now, instead of this bit being the ocean, this is the river mouth. And there's a river over here that comes down from the mountain. 
Um, but you could add whatever you want, make a whole series of little islands that he could sail to and from. How about a volcano? Think about what other things you could add to expand your scene. How big can you make it? Happy building. See you next week.